Okay, guys, we're moving on to theorem 8. Theorem 8 is the only theorem that does not have a converse. Now, theorem 8 has an asterisk next to it, which means the proof of theorem 8 is examinable. Now, theorem 8 says if you have two tangents from the same point outside the circle. So, in this example, we have point T, and we have tangent TA, and we have tangent TB. Now, these two tangents, according to this theorem, are always equal in length. So we need to try and prove that TA and TB are the same thing. So let's start. What are we given? We're given circle center O with tangents TA and TB. We're trying to prove that TA is the same length as TB. Now there's two constructions. The first construction is radii, OA and OB. Now as soon as I say radii, alarm bells should start ringing off. This means that these two lines will be equal in length because they're radii of the circle. And as soon as I'm thinking about tangents in radii, I need to remember theorem 7, which says the tangents in radii are always perpendicular at the point of contact. Now I'm going to construct a second thing, which says I'm going to join O to T. Now as soon as I've done that, I might be aware of where this proof is going because I've just constructed two triangles. Which means I probably think that this is going to go along the lines of proving congruency. Because if I can prove these two triangles are congruent, each side has to have an equal partner. So I'm going to start in triangle OAT and triangle OBT. The first thing is that I've already alerted myself to the fact that tangents and radii are perpendicular. So first statement is angle A and angle B must equal each other and must equal 90 degrees. And my reason is from theorem 7. Tangents are perpendicular to radii. Secondly, TO is common. TO forms part of both triangles. And thirdly, my radii are equal. So OA equals OB because they are radii. So that means I have 90 degree angles, I have a hypotenuse which is equal in each triangle, and I have a side which is equal in each triangle. Which means I can conclude that OAT is congruent to OBT because I have a right angle, a hypotenuse, and a side. Now just make sure that you're labeling the triangles in the right order. Now this is perfect because as I've said, congruent triangles are identical, which means AT and BT must be equal because my two triangles are congruent. Now this is exactly what I was trying to prove. Two tangents from the same point are equal in length. Now, if I ever need this theorem, my reason is going to be tans from common point. So let's have a look at an example. This says determine the size of A if PA and PT are tangents. Now, as soon as I see the word tangents, I need to start thinking about theorem 7, 8, and eventually theorem 9. So theorem 7 said tangents would be perpendicular to radii, and theorem 8 says tangents will be equal in length. Now I can immediately label that. This means theorem 8 says PA and PT are equal. Now that's perfect. Because that means I have an isosceles triangle. And the angles opposite equal sides are equal. So I'm first going to state why these two are equal. PT equals PA because they are tans from common point, which is what theorem 8 said. Now this means that angle T3 and A are equal. And my reason is because they are angles opposite equal sides. Please note, you cannot use the reason isosceles triangle, as that's not an acceptable reason in grade 11 and 12. Now this is perfect because I have a triangle. And angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. So T3 plus A plus 50 will be 180. But I've just argued that T3 and A are the same thing. Now let's not forget our reason there. Our reason there is sum of angles in a triangle. Now I'm going to go replace T3 with A because in yellow I said T3 and A were equal. So I get A plus A plus 50 is 180 degrees. Now I don't need a reason there because all I'm doing is taking what I said in yellow and replacing what I've said in green. Now this is just an equation. Two A's are equal to, and I've subtracted 50 degrees on both sides, so A is equal to 65. 